What's good, everybody? It's your boy Ronsray3000, and from the title, you know that it's some flawless search and destroy gameplay uh, with a 1v4 clutch at the end, but this is also going to serve as my final word on the Turtle Beach PX5s. Now, if you've watched my previous PX5 review videos, you know that I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Um, it's really easy to get some buzzing and distortion on explosive sequences, whether you're watching movies or, or it's just the game type you're playing. Like, say, for example, Domination. I Playing with PX5 and Domination is, is almost an exercise in futility. Um, I don't listen to my headphones at a particularly loud level, but uh, it's gotten to the point where I, I almost have to turn them down whenever I'm going to play Domination, just because it just doesn't sound good. And when you're paying $250 for a headset, um, my opinion is it should sound like butter. So th those are my feelings on the PX5 and the game type Domination. It just, just doesn't sound good. So I'm going to aim down sight here and kind of cut this corner slowly because uh, I hear somebody around that corner. I just don't know whether they're on the first floor or the second floor balcony. So I'll cut this corner. Um, actually waiting to see if the guy's going to come around himself. I didn't want to rush in there immediately because this is search and destroy. It's not TDM where I can just you know watch a kill cam and respawn immediately. He shoots off an unsuppressed weapon, and at this point I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Probably would have gotten panic knifed right there, but again, that's just me being a search and destroy noob. Probably should have threw a stun or something like that up there uh, to get confirmation and slow him down a little bit. But uh, let's, let's go ahead and head into round two. I'm going to set up shop at a yellow dumpster over here by CDOM. I got hit in the face uh, on a previous match where somebody had set up here, and I figured, hey, you know what? Let me uh, let me pay it forward to another noob. <laughs> I am a search and destroy noob. Uh, I just recently, I guess, had an infatuation with the game type and been having a lot of fun with it. So I figured, what better uh, game type to kind of put these PX5s through a final test than, you know, search, right? Thankfully, uh, Team HUAV kind of gave me confirmation that there's some people up there. and was able to sound horn that guy coming up the stairs. And here is where the PX5s actually earn their keep. There's going to be a shot here where you're going to see me immediately start aiming down sights right here and it's because I can hear somebody coming around the corner and at first I thought it was by the Jeep it wasn't until later that I, I found out this guy was on the outside of the map so right there the PX5s actually earned their keep I'm not gonna say that my AD700s and mix amp wouldn't have sound horde that guy but uh, I was I was able to hear that guy clear as day running around the outside of the map I come back over to the yellow dumpster again because uh, some guys are just that predictable. <laughs> I'm able to spray this guy coming around the corner. I'm going to quickly retreat. I'm going to use my teammate as a sort of a motion sensor so that if there's a second guy that comes around, uh, either he'll die or <laughs> take him out and I'll immediately know an outcome there. Come check the upstairs B-bomb. And I'm going to throw a motion sensor down here in just a sec because I can hear a whole lot of footsteps around me, but I don't know if they're my teammates or the enemies. So I'm going to throw my motion sensor down right here, and I'm going to immediately see a red dot upstairs. And I'm going to hear the footsteps and a reload, and I make a quick look at how many bullets I have in my magazine. I've only got 11, but I have made a conscious decision not to reload because I didn't want to make noise, and I figured, well, it's only one guy left. Uh, hopefully the 11 bullets will do the job and thankfully that decision there paid off. So the team of randoms and I were able to sweep rounds 1, 2, and 3 and so now we're going on offense. And for offense I like to switch up Ghost with Flak Jacket. I figured if anybody's got a UAV they probably used it already and if I do hear a UAV call out I could just throw down my jammer. Uh, I like running the jammer instead of the motion sensor uh, because if they're if the defense is set up already and it's got random claymores placed, motion sensor stuff like that, I can knock them out because the cloud that the jammer puts out is just so huge. And yes, boys and girls, that's what she said. So in just a second here, I see that the bomb carrier's been killed and there's a whole lot of M60 chugging up there. But right there I get the call out that I'm all that remains and it's up to me to win this mission. And I can hear somebody running around down here in the field. I thought he went in that pipe right there. But uh, if you look in here at the free cam mode, the half wall kind of blocks my view of him initially. So I'm just basically following footsteps. And they're pretty loud again in the PX5. Uh, this guy's not running into pro, but I am. So thankfully he can't hear me coming up behind him. And this is a pretty easy cleanup. 
Now I'm going to come up on another uh, enemy here, and I'm going to see him before I can actually hear him. Right there, and I'm able to give him a quick okie doke and rapid fire SMG. He he just wasn't ready for it. So at this point, I killed off two of the remaining four enemies, and the bomb is obviously still up right next to the bomb site. So I figured, okay, uh, let me see if I can sound horn just a little bit here, and I can hear somebody moving on the other side of the truck, but I can't see him. And this is the scene upstairs by the bomb. So the enemy knows exactly where the bomb is, and uh, pretty much my options left at this point are kill the two remaining guys or somehow figure out how to plant the bomb and successfully detonate. Now as the enemy looks out the window here, try to look in the bottom left hand corner. Do you see me run across the street? Well he did. And as you see here, if you're looking up at the top right, I saw him in the windows. So I throw my jammer down here to disable any motion sensors or claymores. And we both kind of try to take the fight to each other. I'm going to throw a quick stun here and a grenade in that back room. Because a lot of people like to camp there. No hit markers for my stun and Semtex, so I make an aggressive push for the bomb. I'm hoping I can get off a quick plant, but as I open the lid here, I can see him down at the end of the hall. Do a quick triangle triangle. He makes a mistake and reloads. And my rapid fire specter says goodnight. Now let's take a quick look at why his reload was a mistake here. 45 seconds left and I haven't even planted yet. He's going to have 28 rounds left after firing at me. All he's got to do is keep me off the bomb. On the flip side, I know I can't plant this bomb anymore. It's a 1v1 situation and I'd rather be the aggressor. His reload lets me know I've got a split second to try and catch him off guard. I pull off the jump shot and smile for the kill cam. So that's it, boys and girls. My final word on the PX5s. Um, really great for search and destroy. If you play a lot of other game types, mm, not really something you should be spending 250 bucks on. But uh, if you get them on the cheap and you play a lot of search and destroy, I'd do it. If you like the gameplay and commentary, let me know. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, guys, peace out.